appreciate that, Brother Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was meat. Yeah. You know what meat does? Meat makes you grow. It's protein. It makes you grow. It makes you build muscle. It makes you stronger to stand, to fight. Yes. Amen. I appreciate that tonight. Hallelujah. Uh, I am so thankful tonight. Praise you know God. that uh, you've heard me get up here and say that I've been having problems with my eyes. I can read everything on that screen. Everything. Well, you can go without your eyes a while, and you go without being able to read this. Come on. Luckily, for, or I'm blessed enough to know that I've been here long enough that some of this got down inside of me, and that when I couldn't read it, he would bring it forth to my remembrance anyway. And there's a brother in here that was giving it forth. You know, uh, uh, Chronicles 22 talks about uh, David gathering all the materials to build the house of the Lord. But he couldn't build the house. Solomon could build the house. But it talked about all the, the gold that he had, all the silver that he had, all the brass, all the silver, or the uh, cedars and uh, the iron. The iron and the brass was without weight. Without weight. That means there was an overabundance of everything. Yes, it was. In this house, there is an overabundance hey, yeah. of gold, Come of on. silver. Come on. Do you know? Do you know what the nails were made out of? Of the iron, but it was made out of the gates. Do you know what nails do? Nails fasten stuff together. Yeah. Do you know what the gates are? Yeah. They're the entrance way into the house of the hey, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get into the house of the Lord, no other way but through the gate. Yeah. Because if you do, you're a thief and a robber. Yeah. And you know who the gate is? Yeah. 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 It is Jesus. Yeah. But Jesus uses these men as gates too. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate the Lord tonight. Because I was able to read the scriptures in the Bible. Amen. And Brother Rhodes, Brother Rhodes got started there. And it was just lead from scripture to scripture. And I couldn't put it down. And my eyes were able to read it. I was able to read. Hallelujah. I appreciate the Lord tonight. Listen, he's going to have a people. That's what Brother Rhodes was talking about. Yes. He's yes. going to have a people yes. Yes. tried and true covenant. that step out in faith through a covenant. Yes. It's by faith through grace are you saved. Yes. That's, right. That's, right. That's, right. That's what Ephesians says. Right. Yes. I appreciate the Lord tonight. I am so thankful tonight for what I feel. Thank you. I was thinking uh, uh, just beyond the veil. Sister Judy sings a song. Yes. That's right. Beyond the veil. Oh, it was going through my head. It was such a beautiful song because I know what the veil is. Yeah. The veil of the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Press through the veil of the flesh. Come on. Listen, you need strength to press through the veil of the flesh. Do you know how you understand what Brother Rhodes was talking about? In Ephesians, it talks about the spirit and revelation. Give it through the spirit. It's in Ephesians 1, I believe it is. And then... Uh, um, the other, the, there was a song that came to to me. Uh, I'll never forget this song. Uh, these sisters sing it, and it blessed me so immensely the last time they sang it. Yeah. I've been through <coughs> enough to know that my God is big enough yeah. to get me through. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that the way it works? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Have you been through enough to know that he's big enough to get you yeah. through? You gotta go. Hallelujah. I appreciate the Lord tonight. I just wanted to get up and tell you how thankful I am. How thankful I am that I'm in a place where the word of God comes through to strengthen you. And I'm so thankful that my God is big enough to get me through whatever it is I need to get through. And I'm so thankful that I can see tonight. Amen.